Hello and welcome from Darmstadt, ladies and gentlemen. We are here live at the company grounds of Ivonic Industries, where we are hosting our seminar about Optical HC, the new hard-coded acrylic made by Ivonic. In this fantastic showroom, the responsible communication manager will give you an overview of product development, characteristics and possibilities of use of Optical HC. Afterwards, we will go to the technical center, where we will show you how easy it is to work with this new material. If you have any questions during our seminar, Ivonic employees will be happy to answer these questions during our live chat. But now let's dive into the world of Optical HC with Mrs. Spages, the responsible communication manager. Hello, Mrs. Spages. Hello, Dorothy. If somebody knows the advantages of Optical HC, then it's you, the responsible communication manager. Yes, that's right. That's right. Avonix PMMA products are sold under the Acrylite trade name in the Americas and under the Plexiglass trade name in the rest of the world. But our newest product is Optical Hard Coat. It's unlike any other hard coat on the market today, and it's the perfect choice for applications that require tough durability. Using a unique manufacturing process without the use of solvents, Avonic has been able to produce a product at the fraction of the cost of other hard-coated products. Standard acrylic is lightweight, half the weight of glass, it has strong impact resistance and high light transmission. In addition to these benefits, optical hard coat has a super strong abrasion resistant coating. It's 10 times more durable than uncoated acrylic. And it also has an excellent chemical resistance that allows for repeated cleaning with everyday cleaning products. Any acrylic application requiring frequent cleaning and handling is a perfect fit for optical hard coat. We've had great success with commercial glazing applications, retail displays, especially cosmetics. And we'll see more of that at the later at the tech center. It's also ideal for vending and gaming, which receives constant public contact. Digital printing, picture framing, even furniture, all of these applications are great fit for optical hard coat. So seeing is believing. So let's go to the technical center now with Brian and learn some tips and tricks about fabricating optical hard coat. Thank you very much, Mrs. Spages. Now we've learned a lot about the product and now let's see what optical HC is like in practice. And for that, let's go into the technical center. Now we're in the technical center of Darmstadt Company Grounds, where application technician Brian Fraser from the US will show us how easy it is to work with optical HC. So we'll extensively put the new hard-coded acrylic to the test. Hello, Mr. Fraser. You are the expert when it comes to processing optical HC. Yes, in the technical center we can do all the fabrication operations to a normal, regular acrylic sheet and also the new optical HC sheet. And here we've got an optical HC sheet and I saw that there are two different colors. Correct. Why? There are two different colors on this sheet so that you can identify the sheet that has, been, has a hard coat as compared to the sheet that has not been hard coated. Okay. So the transparent pick masking is the optical HC sheet. Mm -hmm. That's the hard coated side whereas the blue side is the regular side. But of we don't feel it. And you don't feel it, okay. right? So there's, it, and this is like our normal extruded sheets, both in the US and in Europe have a blue on the back okay. side. So we need the color that we know which side is the right one. It's important to know when you're processing the sheet which side is the right side so that you don't have scratches or uh, try to print or do something on glue on the opposite side. Okay. It's also important, if you can, to keep the masking on as long as you can to protect the sheet as okay. long as you can. And we have to remove it, right? We have to remove the masking. So and we'll take let's <laughs> remove it, the red one and the blue. Okay. So, and um, what is very important also, we've got a frame here. We have a frame here. Um, it is scratch resistant, right? So can I clean this frame without thinking twice? Well, let's look at that. This is a perfect example where we can see that, where we have three different types of material. We have polystyrene, acrylic, and we'll have the optical HC sheet. Mm -hmm. And we'll try out and show the different type of scratch resistant for each sheet. Okay, there's a big difference, there's right? A, there is a big difference. Okay. But we don't see it. Now we don't see it. Now it seems that it's the same. So we'll take a scouring pad mm -hmm. and we'll rub it onto the polystyrene sheet, which is soft. Oh, wow. And you can see that the sheet is beginning to haze up. Yeah, it's a bit hazy, that's true. Okay, and so the acrylic. This is a soft sheet, that, yeah. that scratching cannot be removed. Mm -hmm. The acrylic sheet will scratch some, and it will haze up. 
the difference between the polystyrene and the acrylic is these scratches can be removed by buffing and polishing. Ah, uh, really? Okay. But the new optical HC sheet wow. resists scratches. Yeah, there's nothing. Wow. Yeah, so it's a big difference between the three. There's a big difference between the three different sheets. That's true. So this, is, this sheet makes itself very good for uses where there is high traffic mm -hmm. and high, uh, a lot of use on the sheet. Okay. And we just got a question from a chat user, Mr. Fraser. He says that a lot of photographs are directly printed onto the acrylic, and what he especially likes is the great depths it contains. What about our material? Can it also be printed on? Correct. The new optical HC can, sheet can also be printed on the side opposite the high coating, mm -hmm. so very similar to this sheet up over here or this picture up over here. Okay. So maybe we can try one. I think that we should try one. Let's yeah. uh, let's take this optical hard coated sheet right here, and we will have it go off, and it will be printed. Cool. Cool. So we'll get it back in a few minutes. And we'll get that back in a few minutes. And we also got some furniture, Mr. Fraser. We have some furniture too. because mm -hmm. a very good application for the optical HC sheet is in a furniture application where you're going to have high wear on the abrasion resistant side where normally you would get scratching. And you can see on this, this small table that uh, you don't have any scratching. That's true. So we use it. We put glasses on it and so on. We can put glasses. And it stays like that. Exactly. This. Books and all that kind of stuff that you would normally get scratches from. Also wiping it with a dry paper towel. Okay. The opposite side of the sheet doesn't have the high coating, which allows it to be cemented. Mm -hmm. So the sheet can be joined by cementing um, on the opposite side. If you're going to cement on the high coated side, you have to remove the high coat first. Okay. But why don't we show an example of yes. the cementing? For sure. Here we've got a half one. Yeah. <laughs> a table with one leg that's already done <laughs> okay. and a, a, a leg that has yet to be done. So we have here a, a mitre joint that has been opened up a little bit to allow some extra cement to go in there and give us a little fillet joint. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will use a two-part polymerizable cement, Acrofix 2R1900. So to prepare the cement, it is mixed with a catalyst. There's a catalyst that starts the reaction. Add that to the polymerizable cement, and the cement will harden up over time. Okay. So we have some prepared cement here. Mm -hmm. The catalyst has been added in, and there's been a little bit of time to degas and get rid of the bubbles. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's apply the cement okay. into the joint. So just a bit, or how much do we need? Oh, it's a bit more. Just okay. enough to give us a little fillet. It's going to fill the, the joint underneath. Mm -hmm. And then we want a little extra to provide some strength and round out that corner so there's no stress points in there. And how long does it have to dry? It takes, approximately, it takes approximately 30 minutes oh, for this cement hour. to dry. Very fast, very really quick. Not bad. It's mm -hmm. very okay. And at the end it looks like this. And at the end we will end up with two joints, one on each side. Mm -hmm. Underneath it looks like this. Perfect, cool. Oh, I can see we get our object back. Oh, the printed sheet, so the UV I printed sheet it. is back. Excellent. Thank you. Here it is. Very nice. So we have some, some ornaments that have been put on the other side. Beautiful. This is on the non-hard-coated side, right? Because we still have the pink mm -hmm. masking on the hard-coated side. So mm -hmm. one of the uh, benefits of an acrylic sheet and an optical HC sheet over glass and other different materials is that this sheet can be bent Without, oh, really? without uh, affecting the hard coat. So let's do a little comparison test yeah. between an optical HC sheet and a polystyrene sheet in okay. a bent stressed application. So we have to remove it again. We're removing I again. Take it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, wow. It's flexible. It is flexible. Mm -hmm. So we're going to compare this to a polystyrene sheet in the same configuration. 
It looks as if we are in a pure firmary. <laughs> One of the good applications for this sheet is exactly what you talked about. Um, in a cosmetic application, a lot of the cosmetics contain alcohol and mm -hmm. other, those types of applications sometimes use cleaners that will attack the acrylic sheet this or a polish This is perfume here? This is the perfume here. Smell. Mm. You should smell it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So in a stress condition, mm -hmm. things like the perfume, the alcohol and the perfume will attack the sheet. So here we go, we'll, we will spray the polystyrene sheet in the stress condition. Okay. And you can begin to see the instant crazing that happens, small That's little true. stress marks. And then if we spray the HC sheet. Okay, nothing happens. Nothing. So wow. besides the abrasion resistance, the sheet also provides additional chemical resistance. Mm -hmm. And this is a, a very, very good um, picture of that, where you see the crazing and no crazing. So in a cosmetic display application, the HC sheet has very distinct advantages. That's important because okay. everyone tests it and smells mm -hmm. and then so the life it of the can sheet, happen. The life of the sheet will be extended. Okay. So we've got another question from our chat room and this question was posed a lot of times. Is it possible to draw, to sill and to laser our object, our material? Uh, yes, it is possible. Let's think how we can best show that. Um, Okay. We have a sheet here actually that has been laser cut. It's mm -hmm. been laser mach machined on the outside to get the final dimensions. And it's also been laser etched ah, yeah. on the non-coated side of the sheet. Okay. So why don't we take this sheet, which has already been laser, ma laser machined, and we'll, uh, we'll drill a hole and we'll cut off a, a chunk off the edge. Yeah, so we can show it. So what do you it. need for that? For that we will need to fix it to the table and mm -hmm. then we'll need a drill and a saw. Okay. Proper p personal protective equipment, and then we will use a little bit of tape so to this one. provide cooling when we c when we uh, drill the sheet. Okay. And this one. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome. And one thing is missing. Here it is. And our glasses, they're very glasses. important. And our glasses. <laughs> so what are you doing now? I'm marking on the masking where I want to drill a hole mm -hmm. with a grease pencil. Okay. So we'll drill the hole at the intersection to give us a radius so we don't have any stress concentrations and then we will cut that piece of the sheet off. Mm -hmm. To do the drilling, we'll use a, a special drill bit that's been modified to drill acrylic. So don our personal protective equipment so we mm -hmm. don't get hurt. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll just start the hole. Okay. okay. Just a bit? Just a bit. Why? Because we want to provide a little cooling to... We want to provide some cooling to the drill bit when we are uh, drilling the hole. Mm -hmm. so that we get a nice clean hole that doesn't provide any whitening or any stress in the sheet. Ah, okay, so we want, I understand. To, we want to reduce the stress if we can. So if we have any water, we can fill that reservoir up yeah, with water. This is water. And we sure. push it down to make sure that we don't have any leaks. Can I fill it in? Certainly, please. Mm -hmm. More? Excellent, perfect. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> and no leaks so far. And so, oh wow, okay. So it stays cool. So it stays Cold. nice and cool. The, the, mm -hmm. the, the chips are nice and cool, and it reduces the stress in the sheet, which is very important for mm -hmm. future applications. Okay, great. Okay, so next we'll take the jigsaw, which also has uh, a saw blade that is specifically for acrylic. Okay. You want to get the right one in order to have the best results. That's very important to it's have very it right. It's very important. Mm.
Okay, is it difficult to cut? It's not difficult. It's very similar to wood. Okay. It uh, acts very similar to wood as long as you have the right bits and drills and, and uh, that type of equipment. You can do it very, very successfully. You can see it's a nice clean cut. There's not a lot of melt or anything that would cause a stress. Mm -hmm. The hole is nice and clean. So uh, with these techniques, the uh, piece should be able to use for many years out in the field. Perfect. Wow, okay. So we almost showed the most important steps, right? We went through many of the very, very important fabrication steps, yes. So we're almost at the end. And there is already Mrs. Spages. She's joining mm. us. Hello. And she brings some water. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Thank you. We test our table. Test the table. Out. Cheers. 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 <laughs> now let's test it. No scratches. Very nice. Perfect. Very nice. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of our seminar. Thank you very much, Mrs. Spages and Mr. Fraser, for the information about Optical HC. I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed our seminar. In the next hour, our Ivonic employees will be happy to answer you the questions you may have in our chat room. Thank you very much for your interest in Optical HC, and thank you for watching. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. Avonic. Power to create.